Tell, tell everybody what you mean by that. MO is, it pretty much it's an EDP, emotionally disturbed person. And the MO stands for what, mental observation? Yes. Okay. What made you consider him an emotionally disturbed person or a, 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 somebody in need of mental observation? Uh, just by how his, his, his demeanor was towards you when I was talking to him. He had the shifty eyes when I was trying to ask him a question. Um, he wouldn't directly make eye contact with me. He'd kind of like look to, like past me. Um, and that just kind of triggered something in my brain that kind of made me feel like he was in EDP. That caused you any concern? Not at the time, no. Okay. Caused you concern later? No. He just asked dude if he would arrest him on a ticket. Did he think about what that, what the circumstances would have been for Dontre if he would have just arrested him? <clears throat> the first time that you approached Mr. Hamilton, it was both you and Officer Fitchett, right? Correct. Two of you together? Correct. Um, and you questioned Mr. Hamilton? Correct. And what was Officer Fitchett doing? Was he close by your side? I believe so, yes. Um, and the second time you uh, addressed Mr. Hamilton after you had left and come back, uh, was it initially both you and Officer Fitchett? Yes. And then Officer Fitchett uh, uh, went to the Starbucks and explain why you guys were going to do or not going to do what you're going to do, right? That's correct. <clears throat> Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. You try to get out of here. A couple of questions, Officer. Yep. Uh, Mr. Cermelli asked you to do what Mr. Hamilton was doing that made you say that he appeared to be sleeping and that he wasn't moving at all, right? Mm -hmm. it, I'm sorry, he, he wasn't moving at all right, when you first saw him, right? Yes. He wasn't moving his leg back and forth? Not that I can recall. No. Okay. And if it's moving back and forth, it's more likely than not he wasn't sleeping, right? I mean, Depends. I mean, I don't know how people move when they sleep, so. Right, they do. But right, generally, right. generally, they yes. generally, if someone's moving their leg back and forth regularly, you assume that they're not sleeping. Correct. Right? Now, Mr. Cermelli, Mr. Cermelli mentioned a interview, and I'm going to show you Exhibit 85 and see if that is the document. that Mr. Cermelli was referencing. This is correct. And that's a, a, a P, PI-21 interview, right? Is that what it says? Non-PI-21 interview. Right, a non-PI, right, a non-PI. Yes. Exactly. <clears throat> I know you did, this was early on in your training, but I'm, I'm assuming that the basic part of your training, you learned the code of conduct, right? Yes. You learned that the SOPs have to be followed strictly, right? That's correct. And that a violation of an SOP, <clears throat> a violation of a policy, could result in discipline, including discharge, right? That's correct. Um, and then you also learned in terms of a a PI twenty one is it it's different than a non PI twenty one, right? Correct. And specifically, you were asked by Sergeant Schmitz in quotes, Officer Forte, you understand that you are not the target of this investigation, and you are here just as a witness, <coughs> right? Correct. All right. It's fair to say that no one in internal affairs or anybody was blaming you for the events that day, correct? That's correct. Thank you, no more questions.